This is not a design of a marble, what you think? But that's the beautiful marble floating right up there in the space. Planet Jupiter. Few years back, Juno spacecraft sent us those beautiful strange close-up views of Jupiter cloud bands. But before that, in the year 1990, NASA launched the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope showed how beautiful our universe is from the deepest galaxies to the giant family members like the Jupiter and Saturn. So in this video, I am going to compare Jupiter image captured by Hubble Space Telescope and the image captured by me with my budget setup right from my roof. So I have this high-tech budget setup to show you all which includes my self-made telescope. This is a budget telescope and which has a mirror of 4.5 inch there and that's the secondary mirror and this type of design it's similar to that of the Hubble Space Telescope so I will be capturing Jupiter with this type of self-made telescope and my smartphone connecting right up there so I am using this K4MM eyepiece which will be sitting right up there and I have this smartphone holder which you can buy it from Amazon so I will add right there and I have this smartphone so I will be connecting my smartphone like this so that I can capture the videos of the planet with stable mount the hubble space telescope has a mirror diameter of 2.4 meters and i have this telescope mirror which has a mirror diameter of just 4.5 inches and it was very very dirty so i cleaned it up with a distilled water and also i cleaned my telescope tube of course without mirrors with just a tap water so I packed it back and collimated everything so now it's the time to set up my telescope add an eyepiece attach my smartphone to my telescope with the help of smartphone holder and I added my smartphone in such a way that the field of view is just like that sky is very clear today and we have planet Jupiter and I think Towards the west side, we have planet Venus. Yes, that bright dot is brightest planet Venus. And I think towards the east side, overhead, we have the red planet. I think it should be right there. Oh, airplane is coming. That's beautiful. And there we have planet Mars and the Airplane is moving from Mars to mighty Jupiter right there. That's beautiful view. In 1610, when Galileo pointed his telescope towards the Jupiter, he saw something like this. Jupiter moving with its four bright moons. And this is the same scene what Galileo observed 410 years ago. You can see that bright one here is the Jupiter and those three dots are it's one of the moons of Jupiter. So you can see Jupiter is like a duck and those are the three ducks, baby ducks moving with it. So right now my telescope is pointing towards Jupiter and I am finding it. So till I find Jupiter in the field of view, I will use high ISO that is 800 and exposure value to maybe it's zero so I will adjust it it is not like you hold your camera I mean smartphone on the eyepiece and you will get a picture this is not like that there is a lot of struggle behind this process and I am getting it in the field of view yes there it is that white blob is the Jupiter so now let me reduce the ISO to 100 or 200 so that I can get good color details on the planet so let me realign and this is the digital zoom and you will see Jupiter there that's beautiful so I will record few videos uh, so that I can stack all the videos and get different details of planet and later combine it in Photoshop to get the final image 
So Registex will stack all the frames from the video to get a final image. Again it lost somewhere. Yes, there it is. So let me again zoom digitally and I will record the videos. Again it lost somewhere. So there's the Jupiter. So let me record it. So I will realign it as much as I can. Again it lost somewhere. Yes, there it is. That's beautiful. This is epic. You can see the belts on the Jupiter and also I can see some colors. It's beautiful. Finally, I got a great video of Jupiter with its red spot and some cloud bands. So first, I added the video in PIPP software which is a free software you can download it from the internet. So this software changed my smartphone video from this to this. That was a so in the next step, I added the video in Registex software which is a free software you can download. So this software combines all the best frames from the video to make a final image. So I aligned the points and selected the best frames and software gave me this type of an output which was very smooth. So some adjustments in the wavelet, I saved the image and opened it in a photoshop. So this took a while. And some adjustments in Photoshop like saturation, sharpness, we have the final image. So at one side we have the image captured by Hubble Space Telescope and on the other side we have the image captured with this type of self-made telescope and smartphone. And finally, of course, the Hubble is the winner. So the point of this video is to show you all how you can capture those beautiful features of the planet using this type of self-made telescopes and your smartphone. So hope you like this video, subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.